Right, so if you have read and understood, considering a critical care scenario, kindly tell me, how would you manage this patient now? I will manage according to success protocol using yes. AFC approach. I will uh, do strong some investigation, routine investigation, CBC, urine general, and NFT, and bleeding profile. Uh, for the patient circulation, is blood pressure is low. Yes. Uh, two large pore canyon in the anticubital fossa. Yes. I will maintain blood pressure between 90 and 100. Yes. Then I will do cross matching for blood. Yes. Uh, what more? Uh, sorry. Yes, what more would you? Then do? I will insert the uh, urine in the to monitor the urine output hourly. Yes. Uh, also, I will ask for the patient is unstable. I will ask yes. for uh, uh, patient's will respiratory for rate. Yes, is uh, and also 30. talk to my consultant and yes. assist and book for surgery. Yes, patient's uh, respiratory rate is thirty, and patient seems to be confused. How would you manage that? Uh, patients in here, respiratory rate is 30, and patient seems to be confused. How would you take care of that? Uh, I will assist for the breathing. Okay, what, what might be the reason behind patients' uh, raised or increased respiratory rate? A patient might have been pain. Okay, pain. So you'll give pain. Uh, you'll give. Uh, you'll do pain management. You'll give analgesia. How would you begin with? I will begin with non-steroidal and ibuprofen. I will then go for mild uh, analgesia according to which bladder. Okay. I will for codeine. If it's not adequate, then I will yes. go for morphine. Okay, can you please tell me, patient has a pulsatile mass, uh, right, and you can see in the left uh, flank, and uh, how, if you don't manage that, what are the complications that you should expect? Uh, this patient must like have abdominal aortic aneurysm, patient will may have rupture, yes, and or... cause bleeding and shock or death, there may be vistula formation, or to enteric or yes. our to level. Yes. There could be thrombosis. Thrombosis and leading to Leading to low limb ischemia or then you can do embolism. Yeah, can be even be embolism. So how would you take care of that? In case of there is a risk of uh, low limb ischemia, what measures would you take for this not uh, to happen? I will, I will consider low molecular weight free. Start with 70 milligram per kg, then 15 units for 24 hours. And would you involve anyone uh, in the management of this patient? The hematologist. And where would you be? Uh, where would you be managing this patient? Um, I see you. Okay. Right. So, what are the late complications that can occur because of uh, uh, aortic abdominal aortic aneurysm? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Compression and compression of the done, organ, yeah, and also yeah. the ischemia of the renal and the liver. Okay, you plan to operate on the patient. You've done the surgery. What are the immediate complications that can occur as a result of surgical intervention? I think a normal position of the, of the graft. And? and? Uh, it can be due to rupture of the common iliac artery and also may lead to thrombosis. Okay, this uh, surgical intervention, it interfered with hemostasis of the patient. Can you explain how it interfered? What is the mechanism of, mechanism of hemostasis? 
Uh, then the first is will be vasoconstriction, then it will be blood like plug, yes. and there will be activation of the coagulation, yes. which lead to uh, formation of the fibrin, yes, uh, which lead to fibrinolysis yes. and clotolysis. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what are the blood products that you can use in this case? Because patients, uh, yeah might lose blood and blood pressure is already low. Of course, uh, packet RBCs. And? And fresh frozen plasma. Okay. Anything else you'll advise for as a volume expander? I will ask for crystalloid, such as normosaline or ringer lactate. Okay. Any other option you can offer? Have you heard of cell saver or blood salvage technique? Yes. Can you tell me what that is? Cell saver, this is collect blood loss during surgery and reinfuse it into the same patient. Yes. All right, patient, since patient has uh, abdominal aneurysm, so patient can uh, even present with, um, patient is hypotensive. So what medication would you give to maintain the blood pressure? I will go uh, ask for vasopressin, which increases make vascular resistance, which yes. increases the blood pressure. Okay. All right. Can you also tell me what are the... All right. How much... Uh, when the patient is being operated, patient has the risk of uh, losing blood. How would you define blood loss? Uh, it's according to the hemorrhagic loss can be due yes. to hemorrhagic shock, class 1 or class 2 or class 3 or 4. Yes. Class 1, this is blood loss 750 or less. Class yes. 2 is between 750 and 100, 1,500. Yes. Uh, In this situation, class. patient is presented with uh, low blood, blood pressure and is confused. How much patient, how much blood patient might have lost to appear in this uh, situation or what hemorrhagic loss is in patient now? Class four. Four? Okay. So how would you take care of that? Uh, as this blood, uh, I will assess the circulation, cardiac index, pulse rate, yes. and blood pressure. I will insert two large port cannula in the cubital fossa and also I will to cross match for blood. Okay, if uh, can you please tell me what are the complications that can occur as a result of blood transfusion? Uh, it can be classified as immunological and then immunological. Yes. Immunological can be as uh, uh, graft versus disease and anaphylaxis and uh, transfusion related lung injury and also acute hemolytic reaction and then hemolytic reaction. Non immunological right. can be like uh, hyperkalemia and hypocalcemia, and also lead to hypothermia and metabolic acidosis. Okay. One of the complications uh, that can occur as a result of blood, blood transfusion is ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome. Can you define what that is? It is diffuse lung injury, which caused by, uh, diffuse alveolar disease, which caused by lung cavity and auxiliary injury. Yes. Especially to uh... yes. Can you please tell me blood transfusion is a process? Okay, and that can also be classified uh, autologous blood transfusion and massive blood transfusion. Just both. Can you define both these terms or tell me the differences between these two? Autologous. This is the blood loss is collected during surgery and reinfuse it into the same patient. Okay, and massive blood transfusion, when it is massive for... Blood massive blood transfusion, this is the transfused blood, more than 50% of the blood volume yes. over four hours, or transfuse of uh, more than one blood volume over 24 hours. Good. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this uh, situation is quite big because 
many questions can arise here and many topics can be covered here. 